So are laser welders the future of fabrication? Well, today we're gonna to put it to a real test. We're gonna do a real customer's job and we're only gonna use the X-Tool laser. So let's get it. Handmade, right here in the UK, in my shop. Welcome to Norfabs. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to part four, the fourth and final part of this laser welder series. Now, if you haven't been following along this already and you are interested in this machine, I'd probably suggest going and watching part one and part two first. I will put the cards up here on the top of the screen somewhere. Uh, I'll put those up there. Yes, in the part one and part two, we tested this machine, we unboxed it, I did my first laser weld test, I did some cutting with it, I did basically the, the rundown, gave myself a little tutorial on how to use a laser welder, because up until now, I never used one, never held one, never even seen one in person, but what I will say is, what a bit of kit, folks, but today, is gonna come the real test. If you're not sure about who I am or what my channel is about, I am Nathan, the founder of Norfabs. We do build exhausts for cars on a daily basis. Now we TIG weld everything, but this laser welder behind me fell in my lap. A massive thanks to Xtool for selecting me for testing this machine. This fell in my lap and up until now, I've only had little plays with it on pieces of plate. This is gonna be the real job. This is a real customer's job. This is not a, uh, a prop car, this is not my own car, this is an actual customer's car. And today, we're building an exhaust system for it, and I'm only going to use the laser welder. Let's find out, can a laser welder actually save me time, save me money, and can it give me the same results as what we can get with a TIG welder? Who knows? We'll find out. As far as you can hear, there's absolutely no exhaust sound from this car at all, literally nothing. Let's have a quick look at exhaust system then. Like I say, this is not about the car today, it's more about the welder, but I'll just give you a brief look at the exhaust system. There's no wonder it's silent. This is one of the models that has three massive silences. We have one there, we have another one there, and we have another one down there. We are doing a catback exhaust today. We're gonna be running most of it through the bender. We are gonna be doing a silencer, and I am gonna weld the silencer with the laser welder. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna bend up one over the axle, no back boxes at all, to an acropovic carbon fiber tip, and this thing will sound wicked. How do I know? Because I've done them before. So we do build everything in house, and the silencers start as a long piece of tube, just like this one. We'll cut off the size we want, we'll push in the end cap, and now usually I TIG round this. But in today's video, I'm gonna use the laser welder to fuse round the top of this. So I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna rig up a little bit of a test piece before I go straight for the Mona Lisa. I have not tried just fuse welding with the X-Tool yet. So I am gonna rig up a little bit of a dummy piece. We're gonna have a little practice run before we go straight onto the Mona Lisa. So let's rig that up. Let's see how this goes. So for this, we're gonna need to switch to the autogenous welding tip. Autogenous is just a fancy word for welding without filler wire. So you can see there on the consumables box, it tells us exactly which tip we need to use. And this is the one right here in my hand. For the welder settings, it's very much the same procedure. We just need to go on to weld. The only difference is that we do not want to enable wire feeding. As we have got no wire feeding with this tip, we are welding autogenous with no wire. So select all the materials as you usually would, just do not enable wire feeding. Here you can see I've not used this function before, so I have set up a little dummy piece. As I said, this is a real customer's job. I don't want to mess it up. Let's have a little test run first. like a dream. Now it's actually quite hard on this because I've got to keep the prongs pressed against this for it to earth. So I'm actually struggling, but on, when I go for Mona Lisa, I can kind of just rest the prong on there and just run it round. So I'm pretty sure we'll be all right. It's a little gray. Now that's probably gonna be down to my settings um, rather than the actual welder issue that's probably going to be down to settings again as we saw earlier in the video i had to sorry earlier in the last video i had to play with settings a little bit to get things looking nice so we might be in the same scenario with this but i'm pretty confident i can put attack on mona lisa so we can at least put the packing in so let's see how this goes not a problem at all easily That's me back because you can't even see arc. Okay, so silencer is packed. Let's re-tack this end as well. Woohoo! 
All right, I'm going to turn that scan width up a touch. Here goes then, folks. Remember, this is a real job. If I naff this up, it's just cost me money, not made me money. But let's see how this goes. How fast is that? So a lot of it is trying to keep the torch angle correct because it's a lot bigger than a TIG torch, but is it doing it? Hell yeah, it's doing it. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's actually coming out wicked. I mean, it's a lot faster than TIG. A lot of it's just trying to keep my hand speed consistent, which is obviously a learning curve with TIG welder, but I've done that that many times now, it just comes second nature. This is obviously all new. It's almost like I'm doing it with a MIG torch, not a TIG torch. So yeah, it does take a bit of getting used to, but yeah, it's doing it. It's definitely faster than TIG. And that's it. That is my very first weld on a customer's job. We have just fused the end of that silencer in no problem. All right, now I've got other end to do. It actually looks wicked. I dare say, yeah, it's definitely as good as TIG and it's, uh, it's, it's faster, there's no doubt about it. For those of you that are watching that might be interested, this is 316 stainless steel. Has it welded it? Hell yeah, get in close, show them, see if it'll focus on it, yeah, it's... I bet it'll struggle to focus on it, won't it? So small. So as a very, very first time using it on an actual job, on a, something that's round, not just a flat piece of plate, I'm actually impressed with that. I could better that, I know for a fact. Give me 10 more goes at doing that, and I know for a fact I could better that. But straight off the bat, very, very impressed. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna tack the edge of this perf, then we'll get the expands done, and that's the silencer made. We'll be on to making the actual exhaust system. So now I'm feeling confident with this machine, I need to tack the exhaust pipe to the silencer we just made. We're not doing any test runs this time, we're going straight for the Mona Lisa, and I must say, it came out a dream first time. Exactly the same with the exhaust hangers, 12mm thick round bar to the 2mm thick exhaust pipe, tacked on there like a dream. Really fast, really easy. Got that tacked on, plan is we're going to get rest of this exhaust all mocked together, and then for the final finale of this machine, we are going to weld the entire system with this welder. Or I'm going to weld the entire system with this welder. Let's finish it. Alright, here we go. My first ever weld on an exhaust system. I'm going to do all of them now. All of them are going to need to do the tip. The one I'm most excited about is my brand tag. Pretty sure this is going to do a sick job at brand tag. So I'm excited about that, but yeah. Here goes, I'm gonna weld all of it with the laser welder.
So there we go people, my very, very first exhaust welded with the X-Tool. Will I say it's easy? It's definitely not easy. It's a learning curve, like anything, no one, you can't just go and pick a TIG welder up and start making a professional job with it straight away. It does take seat time. The laser different, laser welder is no different. It's, it's a learning curve, I'll say you that. But the results I'm getting, absolutely brilliant, especially on the tag. The weld on the tag is just absolutely chef's kiss. Beautiful, that, I mean, it's a shame the camera don't focus, but you can get in close there, look, Connor, on the tag. The weld on the tag, absolutely beautiful. Same on the hangers, weld on the hangers. I found for the best results on the hangers and on the silencer, you sort of do one pass to fill in the gaps and then do another pass over top of it and you just get a much, much better result. I'm getting the best results for, for my application using a high scan width. So the scan width, you can change the, where the laser scans left or right. I'm getting the best results with a high scan width and a very low pulse and the results for me are brilliant. So what do I think about the X-Tool laser? It's an absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Would I recommend you get one? Yeah, brilliant for thin stuff, exceptional for thin stuff actually. Cutting feature is absolutely phenomenal and I really, really hope to bring you some uh, content on the CNC portion of this as well. The CNC add-on absolutely levels this machine up again. So I really, really do hope to be able to bring you some content on the CNC add-on to this machine. But yeah, I, uh, I definitely recommend you get one or at least have a look. You can have a look for absolutely free in the description is the link to the website. Have a look, it's the X-Tool Metal Fab Unit. It, as I say, it comes as a bundle. You can buy just the welder, the smaller um, watt, or you can buy the 1200 watt, or you can buy the entire bundle with the CNC add-on. Take a look, cost you nothing to take a look. Thank you for watching this series. And again, a massive thank you for X-Tool for giving me the opportunity to test this machine. We'll catch you in the next video.